Hi everyone, Dr. Siddiqui here. Today we're going to be talking about central lines, how to place a central line, some of the indications for it, and some complications that could go wrong when you place the central line. So let's get started. Okay, so key things are you want to cover any procedure. You want to put on your mask? So, we all, there's, you see how there's a little tip on this side? Makes it easy. So, you open it up. It's like this, right? So, then what we do is we take this out. This is going to serve as our trash can. So we drop it and put it right there. And then we open this. So we open this up. Just like this. Like this, and you're, if you struggle, it's okay. And you pull like this. So we open this up. So this is our kit, right? You guys can come closer so you can watch. So this is what is going to go on the patient. What you want to do is you always want to check all your, your equipment, okay? So, key things are, this is going to be your guide wire. So what you do is thread it in a little and take this top little one out. And you can see that this is your guide wire. So you always want to double check your blade. You can just drop it there. You want to make sure your blade works. Check all of your equipment. This is going to be your needle driver, so make sure it works, right? And then you have everything else. So we move this stuff and a lot of them you don't need to use. So this is going to be your needle, right? So you move this out and this is where the bevel is going to be always facing up, right? And you want to make sure you can aspirate. And you're This is going to be our triple lumen catheter. So you open all these up. We're going to draw up our light, okay? You open up your light, okay? Pop this open. So what you're gonna do is take your, put in a little bit of air. You put this here. And so this is how I wanted you to hold it. You hold it as tight as possible and then the needle goes in. So the, the hand needs to be as steady as possible. You're gonna take your needle and you put it here. Now you have your light all drawn up. We have our needle tip, and this is what's gonna anesthetize our patient, the, that site. The other thing is, these are for later. We're gonna keep all of those for later. And this is gonna be our dilator, right? What I want you to do is squirt, open it up. Remember, you don't want to drop it in here. It's still not sterile. So open it up, take it out. Take out the little white tip. You have to like, yeah. And then you're going to squirt it right in here. Not, Don't squirt all the way. You got to gently squirt it in there. <laughs> Did you see how it yeah. can squirt? Good. Okay, don't get too close to the sterile field. Oh, squirt all the way. Perfect. That's it, you can take it out of the field. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this up. Mm -hmm. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna check every port to make sure it's patent because you don't want to you don't want your you don't want a faulty one, right? So you you go like this and you check to see if it's patent. Is it patent? It's patent. Perfect. Same thing. So you try it white, keep everything steady. You try the blue. You try the blue and you check. It's patent, right? Perfect. And then you try your brown. Same thing. Check. Is it patent? It's patent. Perfect. So all your equipment works. So then you have your thing aside. So everything else you need, it's it's here. So here's your needle. You're gonna have it. Some people like to take it out once it's in the vessel and then they through put in the guide wire, but that can be tricky. So I would keep it, I'd keep it on nice and tight. And what is gonna happen is you go into the vessel and then what you're gonna do is you're, once you're in the vessel, you're gonna aspirate. So you're going to pull back once you so first of all somebody's going to show you with the with the ultrasound where the vessel is and i like to use this little tip and it'll tell me exactly where that vessel uh, is so i'll push on it make sure that i'm there once i'm there then with the needle i point down and go down and i pull back and aspirate until i see blood once i see blood i hold it steady then with my other hand what i'll do is i will put in my guide wire so the guide wire goes in through the top like this and you guide it in right and it's, what's going to happen is it's going to go through your needle. Right? It's going to go th in through your needle into the vessel, okay? So what you're going to do is then, so you go all the way, keep on going, keep on going all the way. And what's going to happen is until you see the tip, you're going to see the tip to about here. You see the tip. Now you pull back. That's it, right? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the vessel and pull your needle out. So you pull your needle out, right? But you have to be very steady. You, you're keeping it in the vessel. So then what you're gonna do is with a guide wire, so let's hold it steady. So let's imagine if this is in the vessel right here, right? So while holding it steady, you're gonna put in your dilator, okay? So your dilator goes in, 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 in and then you may face a little bit of uh, restriction there. So what you're gonna do is take your, um, you take your blade and with the blade facing up, cause you don't wanna cut your, your wire or your dilator. With the blade facing up, you make an incision like this. So you cut on the, ve the vessel and you make an incision. Once you do that, then you can push your dilator and it goes in. Once the dilator is in, you pull it back out. You have to go all the way. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to put your, um, this in there, right? So you're gonna go in, guide it, guide it, guide it. And you don't wanna let go of your wire, okay? So as you go in like this, right? So what you're gonna see is right here, you're gonna see, you're gonna start to see your, your wire, right? So you wanna see it all the way. So right here is when I, once I see my wire, then I'm gonna hold the vessel and pull the wire out. And you have to be very careful when you pull it out. You want to not splash anybody because it's coming from blood, right? So you pull it out. Now your, your guide wire is completely out. And what you're gonna do is you have marks here, right? So you want to be about at the 15th mark. You don't need to get close. I can always zoom in with them, that's good. So at the 15th mark is where you wanna stop. So then what you're gonna do is with this, you have this kit right here, the little blue, and you have a little white one. So you'll take this and you're gonna, so it's gonna be right here. So what you're gonna do is, this is where your 15th mark is, this is where the skin is gonna be. So you're gonna put this on just like this, right? And then we're gonna suture it. And then we'll show it to you and how we suture it. <laughs> they are. So what are, what are we looking at? Do you guys see it or do you want me to move? What is this image? Exactly. Exactly. So what you're looking at here, this is without anything. This is the internal jugular vein. 
and it's a little bigger it'll be usually it'll be bigger than the artery mm -hmm. this is the carotid artery so when you put in a central line you want to go into the vein okay so what this is doing is this is this is showing that the, the vein is compressible mm -hmm. right because the the walls of the vein led it to be very compressible what does this image show we kind of talked about it so yeah. thank you so thank what you. this shows is this is the vein this is the artery when you apply pressure you can compress the vein right the artery shouldn't be compressible so this is showing you that this is where you want to go but you see how close they are yeah. you don't want to hit the artery mm -hmm. right so let's take a look at some complications that can happen with when putting in a central line what do you guys see on this chest x-ray no. Yeah, where? On the right, right side. side. Exactly. So one of the complications of putting in a central line is a pneumo. So you always have to, that's why after every central line, we order a chest x-ray to make sure that there's no pneumo. Okay. So right here you see the pneumothorax, right? So let's look at the next image. What do you guys see here? Another complication. It's a hemothorax. Which mm -hmm. side do you see it on? What does hemo mean? Hemothorax. What does that mean? Blood. 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 Exactly. Where do you guys see it? Blood. Exactly. You see all that haziness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a hemothorax on the left side. Good. Let's take a look at the next image. What do you guys see? What, don't look at the arrows, but what do you guys see? <laughs> Dark, dark structures, that means there's fluid. Yeah. So there's, there's this is a um, hemothorax. Uh, so more, yeah, this is another indication that there's a hemothorax. Uh, what do you guys see here? <laughs> don't, don't worry about the arrow. Yeah, and again, this is a hemothorax. Okay. Which side? On the left side. Exactly, okay. So these are some complications that can happen when you put in a central line. So this is just a anatomy picture that shows where you're going. So through the internal, uh, the sternal clitomastoid, and it's right there is your internal jugular. Okay. Mm -hmm. You could also put in a central line through the, your subclavian. Okay. You want to clean it, right? So you open up your kit right here, toss the rest. And then what you're going to do is like this, you break it, Okay, so you have to press a lot of pressure and you push it. You push, 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 push like that and you see it's coming through, right? So I just need to move my white coat out of the way. So you go in like this and you start at, you want to start like this and move out. So you go like this. This is pointing at the head to the top, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it like this. And what's going to happen is, well, before we do that, we're going to go like this and remove these. Okay? Just like this. Same thing on this side. Just struggle a little. <laughs> and remove this. Okay? So now this points to the head, it's going to go right here, and what you're going to do is place it like this, just like this, okay? And then you're going to open it up. We had our lidocaine, we drew it up, so what you're going to do is you're going to pull this off and bevel up, so you're going to go you're gonna look at your anatomy, and when you push it, so when, you, when you're injecting, you wanna stay superficial. So you inject and you create a little bubble on the side. And then you always want to aspirate first, make sure you're not in a blood vessel, and then inject, okay? So that is gonna be, and then always protect your needle. So we're gonna do this, protect the needle. And then what you're gonna do is, with the ultrasound, they'll show you where the vessel is. So when you, once you find the vessel, then, you go here and you make a little indentation in that vessel, right? So you find the vessel and then you make the indentation and then you go in like this. So when you go in, you want to be able to aspirate. So that means you're in the vessel. There 
is our triple lumen and it's going to go to the 15th mark.